Hello everyone, StuDoq here. Welcome back to more Stewie Duels, aka Dueling Book Laddering. Might even just rename this segment just Dueling Book Laddering. I don't even know, man. But I wanted to play the Black Wings, but they're not on this website still. Which I don't really know why, but whatever. I guess we'll just wait. Next week will be the YCS. But if the new Black Wings are on this website, I guess we'll do that as well next week. So, oh my god, you could get two videos on the weekend next week. It does not happen very often. So, going up against Andruna and Andri. Andruna. Oh my god, why? Why? Why the messed up usernames? Well, I'm glad I didn't pick Rock there. Which one should we go for? Oh my god. I should have known. Rock never loses, guys. Rock never loses. Ooh, he's gonna let me go first. Interesting. So we got ourselves a pretty good hand. <laughs> yeah, phenomenal hand up in here. We got uh double solemn and derivally and the expensive eighty dollar infinite impermanence up in here. Oh yeah. Because I totally have a place out of this laying around right next to me, actually, believe it or not. <laughs> not really. Just a blind cosmic cyclone. He's going to snipe my solemn strike. Does he know? I got another one. Oh my god, Fluffles. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Hmm, I guess we're kind of forced to throw this out there. Actually, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Actually, I don't... See, the thing is, if I if I bring out the one guy, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to be forced to bounce the Fluffle Dog, which I don't want to do. See, what I want to do is flip over my rivalry and then reveal it. And then we can start doing stuff. So let's go for the floater here. That's a decent card, I guess. <laughs> hmm. So now, do we just link Shogun? I don't know, I'm not the Alter Geist expert, by the way. Definitely not the Alter Geist expert. But, you know, everything is spellcasters, which is good. I don't main deck the cherries, so I don't even know what's the point of playing the stuff in here. I don't even main deck the cherries. So, if we go for the Exia, add Marionette, we already got the Manifestation, so it shouldn't really matter. I think that'll be a decent idea. Hmm. Of course, we got to lag this freaking website. Never wants to stop lagging. Like, what's the point of me clicking here and then it still doesn't want to put it there the first time I click it? Like, seriously. <sighs> Sigh. So we're going to add this and then we're going to summon it to the correct zone, of course. No, the correct zone, of course. I swear to God, if you shark and call an admin, I will just stab someone. Like I didn't even have the choose zones on. <laughs> I swear to god, don't you dare rule shark. I swear to god. Bro. Alright. So thankfully he's not gonna rule shark. That's good. So now I'll attack. Is that quite a bit actually? You do the math. Or er, meth. I meant to say math, not math. So we'll get in there for 16 and 14. In phase 2 we can set our manifestation. We can play whenever we want and just revive the multi-faker and do even more fun stuff. So Seems decent, man. Seems decent, seems decent, seems decent. Hmm, so we just flip this over right off the bat? I don't even know, man. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so dirty using top tier decks. 
Oh, I feel so dirty. Agent Saber's normal summon. What does that even accomplish? I don't really know what he's accomplishing summoning this, but sure, I guess. No, Fright Perfusion. Hmm, hmm, bro, 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 bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some effects we could activate here. Alright. Spell track card is activated. You drew the Ectogarus monster and negate the activation if you do destroy it. How about no? Hey man, might as well. Yeah. You, you, you were hopeful. You were hopeful, bro. But then I realized, wait a second. I can use the power of my yu gi cards to stop you from doing anything. Oh my god. Yeah, we got a time for another duel for sure. This was only, that was only five minutes. That actually was only five minutes. Oh my god. Wow. Rude. He picked paper. And he's not even going to let me go first. See, that other guy was super nice. He let me go first. And now we got ourselves, I mean, a somewhat playable hand. It's not amazing. I mean, it's still pretty good. I mean, yeah, this hand's still pretty good. I mean, it's kind of little, just a little topsy-turvy as we got multiple copies of two cards, but at least he's not playing anything, like, utterly broken, just going to... Allure of Dankness, Banish the Necrogarna, Lumina, just to mill three. Effect, what, I, what am I going to do? Effect Veiler during the end phase? I can't even do that. If I wanted to do Effect Veiler, I had to do it during main phase one, and then stop you from milling, right? Or something along the lines of that. I guess I could have Ghost Ogred, but it doesn't negate. Unless he's one of those noobs who thinks Ghost Ogre negates. <laughs> hey guys, guess what? Ghost Ogre negates. Don't tell anyone. Kill. You don't need it. Uh, we're actually not gonna link summon because we got the. Well, should we link summon? Could just flip this over whenever we feel like it, or flip this over whenever we feel like it. We already got two multi fakers though. We even like. What do we even need? Like, I'd rather just keep it on the board and Exia to be honest with him. I don't really see the point, honestly. I honestly do not see the point. When I already got to, you know, if I didn't have two multi-fakers in my hand, then yeah, I would link summon, but I'd rather just push next turn. You know, push. Why don't we just take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else? So he already got a Mally. He could go for another BLS. BLS is at three. Mmm. He's going to Mally. I'm going to wait for him to summon another type, and then we're going to flip over that rivalry. And then we're going to chain or, or bring out our multi-faker and bring out our um, Kieran. So we need to wait for him to commit one more monster and we'll flip over that rivalry. Unless it's a warrior. Nope. So we'll rivalry and then we'll reveal. Get in there, boys. Mmm, feels so dirty. Bring that out too. And now it's your choice. Do you want a zombie or a warrior? You probably want the warrior because you don't want your plague just sitting there in attack mode. So yeah, he's going to kill off the plague. So yeah. And yeah, just going to end his turn. <laughs> and I mean, I guess we could just do this during the end phase. And yeah, Brooklyn Rage. Oh my god. <laughs> this deck's too strong. Way too strong. And we still technically have time to get one more duel in, I guess. <laughs> An obese net decker. <laughs> that wasn't his username on DN. His his username had exclamation marks in front of it. I know that for a fact. But yeah, big shout out to an obese net decker. Not only is he just a net decker, he's also obese as well. <laughs> of course, he's just spamming and promoting. Self promote for the win. That shameless plug. And now, apparently, we have a partner found, but nothing is happening. Oh, just kidding. I, I'm here. <laughs> the lagging is real. The glitching is real. Oh my god. Can I win one rock, paper, scissors? Holy smokes. We're 0 for 3. We're 0 for 3 in rock, paper, scissors. 
Wow, what are the odds? We're oh, we're mother effing three. No, you get to burn ten cards for no reason. Seems fun. Seems fair. Seems epic. Oh my God! What is this? A mirror match? Set it all. Set it all. He's setting so many cards. Mistake. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess the strike. Well, just standard stuff right there. All right, let's try to bait through some of this back row. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's roll the die. Dandelion's on three. One, two, three. I guess we're hitting the middle card. Like we're playing monkey in the middle. Well, <clears throat> that sucks. We still get the graveyard effect, right? This card is sent from the field of the graveyard. And I'm, well, it was sent for the field of the graveyard. So, yeah. Didn't. Did hit the field, believe it or not. If that was Solemn Warning, it'll be a completely different story. Alright, back to Dun Do Do Na Na. Back to Gemini Elf's turn. I'm, God, I, I'm not good with pronouncing these usernames today for some reason. Not even remotely. I probably shouldn't have grabbed this because I had the spoofing anyway, but. Um, it's fine. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was a misplay. Plays around the MST or whatever. Actually, it's just once per turn. I can just flip this up whenever I feel like it. Oh, that's my bad. Uh. Hmm. Oh my god. Torrential is really not that good. Oh my god. Let's just ch get, try to do this, I guess. Alright. Hold up! So the card in right here will be negated at least. Can't forget about that. Uh, let's see if he has like another strength. Oh, why? Wow, he's actually playing that. Wow. Who the frick plays wiretap? <laughs> this guy does. This guy. Not really. That's how that works. I don't even know how that's working. I mean, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, 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 he negated it, he negated it, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> so if we chain this, we can bring out... How about, yeah, yeah this should work, right? Oh my god, Typhoon, really, bro? And yep, it costs and well, well, outplayed I guess. Outskilled, outplayed. That's gonna leave a mark. Hmm. So if he links summons, we couldn't get the graveyard effect of it if he doesn't snipe the strike. And of course he snipes this night. Oh my god, this guy is too pro for me, man. What do I do? How did you snipe the freaking strike? Oh my god. 
Whatever. Guess we're kind of forced to strike it. He's going to get the freaking thing anyway. So, F it. Oh my god, this kid. He's too pro for me. Look at his rating. He already has 303 rating. Well, hopefully he doesn't... That one card isn't, like, something he can play. Oh, it is. Okay... Sure. So I guess we'll torrential once he does it right. Once he brings out the. Once he brings out something. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Problem is, he's just gonna bounce and then get a graveyard. He doesn't have any traps, but still. Well, this kind of sucks. Oh, that's a really good top deck, though. That's a phenomenal top deck. This duel, duel just keeps on going back and forth, I guess. Oh, my God. So, he actually is going to tag out into something here. Doesn't want the multi faker in his hand. He wants that. Hmm. So now, do we want that? <laughs> Might want that. I don't know what I want. Oh, man. I guess that's what I want. <laughs> oh, my God. Alright, go ahead, I guess. So he's gonna play his own Mario Netter here, and that's probably gonna set probably manifestation, right? Maybe not. Yeah. This mirror match, do this mirror match. That's not what we really needed. <laughs> oh my god, really? No, he's got the ghost ogre. Okay, sure. Okay, he's gonna revive him in attack mode, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. He can just switch the position next turn. Actually, I think we'll just torrential. Yeah, I think we'll just torrential on the summon a lot. Seems better. Ah, oh, how dare this guy make me use my brain? This is already a almost a 20 minute video. Frick. How dare you make me use my brain? And I was gonna get the graveyard effect right. Oh my god! Ah! Man, this mirror match is cancer, man. I'm sorry, guys. This mirror match is just cancer. A torrential did absolutely nothing. Man, maybe I should take out the torrentials. Eh, I'm learning. So he's gonna. 
Do that and then link summon to main phase two probably. So he's gonna have his multi faker with the manifestation. He'll flip that to be able to. Yeah, I probably um, should just concede as his hand is not really gonna get the job done. Yeah, just for the sake of the video, I'll just concede now. Well, that was unfortunate, but at least we we still won those first two duels. Learned a lot about the mirror match being cancer. Come in, harpy. Who's harpy? <laughs> Come in, harpy. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Dueling Book Laddering Episode 1, I guess. I don't know, I think I'm going to rename the segment that, because I can't really title it just one specific matchup when it was three different games in one video, but... Um, anyway, yeah. Thank you all for watching, as always, and until next time, Stew Dog, and I'm out.